Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to do an unboxing. So I just recently got some Christmas money, like a lot of us hopefully did from time to time. Um, and it is a package. I blacked out my name and address on it. Um, but look at all the really pretty. Ooh, still getting used to dealing with cameras. Really pretty stamps and things that are on it. Um, <clears throat> it is a deck and an oracle that I ordered from uh, a guy on Etsy called Tree Seer. So without further ado, let's see what's in here. So the team wrapped it really, really beautifully. Um, all like right in here. So excited. He's um, he's an artist and he works with wood and trees. And I would say that he's probably also um, part of the, you know, he's maybe a pagan or, or a magician, but either way, um, yeah, I'm really intrigued to see what's in here. Okay, I'm just worried that I will hurt something inside this little, oh, this package. Okay, so you can see kind of like what I'm doing with this. Get this bubble wrap out of the way. I do a lot of pottery work, so that'll come in handy later. Um, and then in here we've got like all of this stuff. Okay. And then Oh, we got all this paper. So what's in the paper? Um, hmm. Okay, so it basically just talks about the tree oracle, um, tree spirit oracle set, which is the which is the deck that he's created um, for tarot enthusiasts out there. This um, this is a really interesting oracle deck um, on many levels for me and for a number of reasons, um, which I'll probably go into in greater depth at another point because I obviously I want to like get used to um, to having it, um, and then of course getting used to like actually trying it out, using it, and so on. I can give it a review at that time. Um, what else do we have in here? Lots of paper. Oh, wow. Okay. Then I've also got instructions here about how to use the Oracle bowl. So without further ado, I think I should probably start there. Um, just adjust my camera here. Okay. So this is... 
so nervous and so excited. Um, this is the Oracle Bowl. So Simon is a, he's an artist. Um, so there's a lot of noise here. Let me just get it out of the way. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I don't, let's see, I think we can see this. Um, wow. So this is the actual like Oracle bowl that I ordered. It's um, really left very raw, but as you can see, there are runes. Um, and symbols all over it, um, none of which I really know how to read, but because they are related to trees, and again, I'll probably go into that in far greater detail in another video when I can show like examples of my own artwork, but you know, that, I mean, that's just gorgeous. Um, so gently and mindfully and beautifully made. He used something to fill in, and it's very raw, um, very, very raw wood. And it's, wow, it's, I believe this wood is Witchwood Elm. Um, it has a very distinctive, a distinctive smell um, to it. And it's, I don't know, there's something just so beautiful about holding something in your hands um, that somebody else far away, you know, carved with theirs, you know, or, or, and, and decorated and worked very directly and very, very specifically, um, with, with their hands. So there's the bowl. Okay. And this is intended as both art and as divination tool, which, um, again, I'll hopefully be able to go into more detail about it later. I'm just letting everyone feast their eyes on this in the way that I am right now because it's it's so beautiful and so tactile. And again, here's the bottom of it. You're all here. Um, to be honest, I'm not accustomed to working with cameras anymore. Um, so I'm actually really nervous. <laughs> just being totally straight up and honest. Um, but yeah, so... Um, I'm kind of trying to balance all the different sensory things coming to mind here as I'm being with this and, and attempting to share it simultaneously. So there's this. Okay, then we also have, okay, good. More, more bubble wrap, which again, as a, as a ceramics artist, that's always a, a very welcome thing to have. Um, Okay, so this, uh, and you can see there's just like a little bit of reflection that's turquoise on like right, right in this area as I'm looking at the camera. That's not real. Um, that is probably some kind of reflection from the light that I've got in here or because I'm wearing a blue color that's very similar to the turquoise and, and so on that's in the bowl. The bowl does have that. Um, he's filled. You know, you can see in, in greater detail, I hope. Um, he's filled in some of the uh, cracks and crevices here in this wood um, with the turquoise, which as far as I'm concerned, because I love this color, um, is, is a real added bonus. This is the divination wand um, that comes with the bowl to be used very, very intentionally and specifically alongside it. This is raw still, right here. Um, on the bottom, there's not anything there on the bottom. Um, lots of spirals, which I really love. I studied Reiki and um, lots of different types of energy work. So that for me is a, a very both philosophically and pragmatically, a very meaningful symbol. Okay, so there is my bowl. Um, and I'm just going to shift it over here. So I've got a 
There we go. I've got, I've also got, you know, a lot of instructions and things here on um, all the different alphabets that he's using, um, which I can't pronounce and I'll probably get incorrect anyway. I do know that the maker, Simon, is Welsh, um, or at least he lives in Wales, um, and I'm guessing that he's also, um, that he is Welsh because I know that part of his work is that he makes poem bowls. I will put, I don't know if I've said this already, I will put a link to, um, to his Etsy page and his website in the, in the notes on this video so that if anybody's interested in seeking him out, you'll be able to. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, he also included suggestions for how to use the wand that's in there. Um, for tarot people, like, I'm a very wandsy person. Um, I'm, a, I'm a Sagittarius. I've got a lot of fire going on. Um, and then, and wood. I just love wood. Um, the, and trees, everything to do with trees. But here is you know, how to use the Oracle Bowl, and there's like two full pages of instruction here. And then um, it looks like I've also got, yeah, it's elder, elder wood, all of it. It's elder wood. Wow. I'm just, it says there are many levels of awareness accessible via the elder if one is open, honest, and humble. Great for meditation on deep ecology and the structure of reality. Well, that's really sums up the reason why I ordered it in the first place. Um, because that's that's a hundred percent what I'm about is is really wanting to know that very deeply. So this is really exciting. Um, and then here we've got okay, like a it's actually this is printed on rather nice paper, which is very helpful. Um, information, more information on runes, which of course is widely available. So like I'm aware that I could go out and, you know, search out information about runes wherever I need to, but to have these to hand quickly without having to grab a book or go to the interwebs is, is very helpful. Um, so that's here. And then let's see what else. Uh, so that's the bowl. Okay. Along with it, there's also a set of dice. So there's like a couple of different, oh, I don't think that's for this. I think this is actually for something else. This is for, okay, we're moving on. We're moving on, apparently. We're moving on. Um, the dice are for the tree, ooh, the tree spirit oracle cards. So I ordered the oracle um, card set and the book. And it looks like... Okay, we'll get back to this in a minute. Um, there's my bubble wrap collection. Um, more bubble wrap. I very carefully wrapped all of this for me here. Um, there's also a book that accompanies the, the deck, which is I find you know, really helpful. You can order the book by itself, I think. Um, but I ordered the book and the deck together. Just get rid of all of that. Okay, so here is the book. Book got a little bit bent up in the. If you can see the way the light's kind of hitting and reflecting it, it did get a little bent up in the process of being shipped, which is, which is annoying. Um, I only mention that because if you're someone who really gets fussy about uh, the condition of books and things, and um, I know some people in the community feel kind of cheated or, or annoyed or, you know, if, if books and decks and things arrive and there's any kind of damage from the shipping, but so I just thought I'd throw that out there. I'm not especially bothered by it most of the time. Um, oh, it's really, let's see, I'll do the in the camera. So here's the boot. Okay, and then as you open it, oh, we signed it! That's such a beautiful surprise! Yay! With best wishes, Simon Lilly. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, he's somebody I really admire. Um, 
again, I really know very little about him, um, aside from his artwork. But, I mean, as an artist, one to another, you really can learn a lot about an artist, um, really just based on their work. It really tells you volumes about the person and about where they're coming from and what their worldview is. Um, this is really comprehensive, right? So what page are we on? We're on um, the Tree of Heaven. So for it looks like for each for each one of these cards, um, you know, you're there's going to be at least a full page of um, description here. Let's see, I'm kind of backwards. Um, a full page of description um, about what it is, what it means. There's a symbol included for each of those, which is exciting. Um, so there's that. Okay, and then, um, let's see if we can see this. So here are the Tree Spirit Oracle cards. Okay. And it is kind of a, still getting used to dealing with a camera. Right, so it says original card set, created, designed, and produced by Simon and Sue Lilly. And they both hold the copyright. Okay, and he lives, or he has a his info here, and there's his websites. But again, I'll put those in the description. Uh, so if anybody wants to go check out his stuff, you can. Okay. Um, and another, another little sticker here on the top, Tree Spirit Oracle Cards. It's kind of thick. Looks kind of more like a perfume box, but then I know that there are a lot of these cards. Um, I will probably rehome this deck, rehouse this deck in some kind of a handmade pouch. Okay. So, pulling these guys out, wow. And then because I'm a total, I, as an artist, I also, I work obviously with a lot of plants. I work with fibers, I work, I make books, I do a lot of different stuff, so I'll find some good use for this box probably. So we've got a little booklet, Tree Spirit Oracle Cards for Clarity, Balance, and Healing by Simon H. Lilly. Um, and yeah, we get a basic rundown. That's great. It's just like a very simple, very, very basic. I know all of this is self-produced, actually, so it's kind of amazing. Um, tiny little booklet that just gives you, you know, a sense of each of the trees and their basic, basic meaning here, which is really cool. Um, ha, ha, ha. Mistakes don't happen. It's funny because I seem to make them all the time. I guess they're little little intentional things that happen. Um, hmm. Then he's got different types of spreads listed in here. Um, I'll have to try some of these out and be, so I can come back to everyone and be like, hey, check this out. I tried this. Um, and then here are the oracle cards. This is the deck itself. Um, this is so neat, and it's in a Ziploc, which is great. Um, hmm. I have to pull this out of here in chunks, because I can reuse the Ziploc bag. Okay. Wow, so... Very thick, okay, and a little bit bent, but I'll tell you why that likely is in a moment. And there's the backs, very much like the box. Okay. Oh, I just realized just now, if you can see that, that is a green man. So that's so beautiful. I love that. Um, yeah. There's a little green man. Okay. And then uh, we have the actual deck. I'll pull this out of the way just so it's less distracting. What other distractions do I have? Okay. So we've got 
these are the cards. This is a particular card. I don't know what that means. Maybe there's one. Okay. So he self produces this deck. So for each of these decks, and the card stock is, um, if you can tell just by kind of looking, it's pretty thick and sturdy. Um, I don't know exactly how he does this actually, but I know that you know every time you order one of his decks online, basically he's producing it at home. So with each of these, you know they're they're coming from Simon at his house. He's the one that's cutting them and creating them and putting them together for you. Okay. So the artwork again is not intended to be very deep um, so much as it is just intended to be evocative of that particular tree. So each of the symbols means something. I think this is the one we had earlier where we were opening the book to its page. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Everything's opposite but weirdly on this camera words come out the right way. Okay. So anyway, there's that one. More of these. It does not tell you on the card which tree it is, which is interesting. You then have to look it up. I wonder if you get to a point where you begin to intuit or feel what it is that you're seeing. That is just, a, it's washed out because I've got a lot of light in this room, but it really is that light. It's a very light card, okay. Number 60. Okay, I wonder how many there are. Okay, so it's counting backwards. Okay, down to one. So, Lord Almighty, how many do we have here? This is just, oh, so there's 75. This just says that these are the Tree Spirit Oracle cards. Okay, so that's just sort of the theme of the deck here. Um, but it goes from one to 75. So it's like a little tarot deck, but it's actually very, very sturdy. Um, I definitely feel like I want to make something beautiful and special to put these in. Um, you can kind of see the, the artwork here, I think, as I'm kind of flipping through these. Let me see, let me pull this closer so you can see better. As I'm kind of flipping through. Ooh, I like that shape and color. Gosh. Yeah. Interesting. I feel very drawn to that one. 28. We'll find out who that is. Actually, we'll do that now. We got this book. We got to cheat. Okay. 28. Alder. Threshold. Ability to release and move on. Boy, that's really absolutely where things are for me right now. Um, got a, I'm walking into 2019 with a lot of things to release, so yeah, here we go. So we've got all of these. Wow, that's beautiful. So he's very intuitive. You know, the work is, is very simple, and yet I have a, my sense of this artist is that it actually is rather rich and complex. Um, the more complex someone is and the more rich their practice and you know as an artist and as a human being, um, my experience is the more that's communicated through whatever it is that they create. So um, I'm very excited to work with this deck. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, there's all of the deck, almost through it. I feel like this video is already getting long. 
Ooh, that's pretty. Very much reminds me of like Wheel of Life. Mm. Yeah. Amen. So very, very excited to get to know this deck and understand more about it. Um, again, like I'm, you know, I, I'm aware just having like watched some, some videos from uh, other members of the tarot community, like a lot of people have very specific preferences about borders and, um, you know, carb stock and thicknesses and so forth. Some of which I also share um, or have kind of thought, you know, never had thought about before, but was like, oh, that's a great idea. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll consider that too. Uh, but um, yeah, generally speaking, I don't find, you know, these are thick. There's a lot of them. I have obviously like I have mitts for hands. I will have no trouble like shuffling them. And that, you know, that doesn't, that I, I think Veronica Jude is the one and I love her videos. Um, but she's the one that like, if she shuffles them and opens them like this, you know, fans them out and she's seen more border than card. She needs to trim them. Um, I generally don't feel that way, although there have been a couple of her decks where I'm like, oh, now that I've seen how she's trimmed it, I think I might have to do that with mine too. So we'll find out. We'll see. We'll see how that settles. Um, okay, one last thing that was in the box here that I want to definitely pull out and share is, um, so again, I, I had a really, um, had a really challenging 2018 and I'm so glad it's over. <laughs> um, and 2019 is here. So moving into 2019, I, I really wanted to focus my energy and focus my attention. So I also bought one of Simon's talismans. It's like a pocket talisman. So, okay, so this is a pocket talisman. It says Elm for flow of success. Couldn't hurt. A nice tactile, smooth pebble of witch elm wood. All surfaces are decorated with the symbol and spell of the witch elm tree spirit. Witch elm excels at opening doors, which is great. I'm getting ready to go into business for myself as a as an end of life doula or as a death doula. So having doors opened is going to be helpful. It is a protector and guide through subtle realms. Again, very helpful. Um, it helps to bring mind to clarity and peaceful awareness and encourages one's natural skills and potential. Very good. Um, as well as invoking these qualities, the talisman has bind runes to encourage frictionless flow, reducing aggravation and confusion. Very helpful. Um, on one side is a row of Elder Futhark to allow the user to identify the best energy to work with in any situation, etc. It comes with a cloth carry bag. I think this is beautiful. He signs every one of his letters and things by hand, and he's also got an individual stamp. And I think that's really neat. Um, I just, I love the personal touch, and I like that things are simple and... Straightforward. So it has this beautiful little bag. Oh, wow. So the bag even says Elm on it. So I know for sure. And I remember, hey, this is Elm. Oh. So, wow. So pretty. Look at this. So, let's see. Yeah. I don't know if any of you read tree runes or any of these alphabets yet. I don't yet, but I will. But I know I feel called to do that. But this is, this is my new pocket buddy. So we're gonna be getting to know each other very, very well. Yeah, what a beautiful piece. It's a lot bigger than I expected. Um, I don't know, I kind of thought it might be a little bit smaller. Um, not that I have any trouble with the size that it is, um, simply that, yeah, I don't know, I guess I just expected it to be smaller. 
would be a challenge to try and get all of this information onto one, you know, one one piece if you were to make it too small. <clears throat> um, so yeah, anyhow. So there's that. So um, this may not be my very first video to go up. Um, there will probably be others that go up first, but this is my first video that I've made. So that's kind of exciting. I'm a little bit shy about it again, as I say. It's, um, I'll say more in other videos. Anyway, thanks for your time, and I look forward to getting to know everybody.